Okay, gang, let's go. This is the family gang, and today we got a new setup today. So we got a 125-gallon tank for gang. We setting that up today for him. I got him a water dish he can walk and lay up in. He can drink out of, it ain't too big, taking up too much space. I got him enough dirt in there. I know it's more than four inches of dirt over here. So when he want to dig tunnels and stuff, he inside is hot right now. I'm trying to set his lights and everything up, get everything situated. So let me explain a little bit on what I got for the 125 gallon um, for, bit for game. I was using for this one that he was growing up in, I was using a 100 watt mercury vapor bulb so it could keep the whole enclosure warm for him but he still had the right temperatures on the hot side and his cool side but now that I got a 125 gallon tank it's more longer so I had to boost up the heat a little bit so I went and got a Repti basking spot lamp 150 watt number one basking ball for the reptiles right now he's inside his thing I just put his light bulbs in his thing I'm about to plug it up for him we have baby Bella. This is our new little Savannah monitor that we had that we have. She been she she joined the family a couple days ago. I set up her uh, I set up baby gang enclosure to fit her now. So I have the little hide in there for I got some rocks and stuff with a lot of dirt, a lot of substrate in there. So whereas though when she start to want to burrow, she get comfortable wanna Exploring stuff. I lined the rocks up on the side of the tank Laid a fake little artificial grass right there. She got a water bowl I'm gonna get her stuff that she'd be able to climb up on top of like a like a little tree branch But um, I had to use it for game because he's more Active right now because he's you know, he's already used to his home. So I'm just trying to make sure everything gets the way that it needs to be Reach the right temperature. Little cats, all of them, and my way, my little twins. So, yeah, this is the family gang. We got a nice little maintenance little type of video for y'all. I want her to get real comfortable. She, she, she running right now. She, you know, she's new to me for real, so. This is baby Bella. I don't know exactly her age, but. She's decent. She have a pretty color to her. Everything. She's real beautiful. She don't hiss a lot. She's like how gang was when he was growing up. She don't hiss a lot. Don't try to tell with me. I just wanted to bring y'all into my new reptile setup. Mommy allowed me to Set my little reptiles up so I have Baby Bella and I have Gang right there. So let me finish setting this stuff up so y'all can see how it turned out. Let me set the camera up. Show you. I'm trying to do the thing. I really I don't have no, I don't got no help down here, so I gotta try to set everything up on my own. I'm gonna try to do it like this and bring the cord all the way over there. I'm going to cut the thing up the best and the fastest way that I can. 
I'm trying to be able to show y'all my stuff, but I need to just go ahead and buy me a camera now because I see that my phone, trying to move around with my phone is a little difficult at the same time. I'm trying. I got my timer set to where as though I got, the, I got a white little timer. You need these so you don't got to worry about cutting that lights on and off. It'll do it by itself. I got it set to 6 o'clock in the morning. It'll come on by itself. It turns off at 8 o'clock on the nose, 8, 8.30. Because I got it at the little, right after the 8 at the dot. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on because I know, he, I know he's a little cold. I know he's ready for it to um, heat up in there. So we're gonna go ahead and heat it up for him. So yeah, this is Baby Game Enclosure. You see, I bring it to life. I got a 10.0 UVB light bulb in there, so when he wanna, he can get his real natural light, like the sun. I got a 150 watt basketball. I got his hot. I got the I got the. I got the degree reader, the thermostat right there because I want to see how high his basket spot gets. So I know how, exactly how hot it will get for him when I'm not here. To know exactly how the touch is. You see the little one, Bella. She basically wanted. She's basically new. So she's basically trying to get. She's trying to figure out what's going on, basically. Cause she's new to the environment. So she basically, I guess, she's trying to sense out her surroundings and stuff like that. Cause they're real territorial. So nine times out of 10, she smells gang. She smells the scent of gang inside there. So that's all it is right now. She's just hesitant because she smelled, she smelled another, um, the scent of another animal in there. But give her like a day, pushing about two days. And just this by herself with nobody distracting her without another animal trying to get get to her. She's gonna be able to, she's gonna, she's gonna open up a little more than what she already is. Once she really get comfortable, she'll really start moving around and everything. Like right now, she See, she thirsty a little bit. I used to do this with gang just to see if he was thirsty. Just this just used to make sure I knew for sure that he was getting some water. I used to always drip some on his drip some on his head, I mean, right in front of his mouth, just so I know for sure that he's getting a he's getting some water. 
I just want her to feel comfortable like how a gang is. You know, gang basically don't run from me or anything. And this is him. You see, he's basically sensing out his new enclosure. Within like a year and a half, if everything keep going the way it's going, I'ma try to build, I'ma, I'ma get, I'ma build him his own enclosure so he can grow up in there for forever. But I really want to breed them and hopefully everything goes well and they continue to grow and get older. Cause I really want to breed them and have my own, and have my own like set of Savannah monitors. Cause my friends like the ones that I got. So I really want to try to let them have some if they're going to take care of them real good but hopefully soon i can get i can get the, the black and yellow tagu and the red and yellow tagu soon hopefully but until then just keep making sure they're ganging them okay making sure they got everything that they need making sure that he's okay and thank y'all Smash that like button if you like the video. Share it to your friends to let them know join that, to go watch it next time. We're going to be having a live video soon. Smash that subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed for Gang and Bella and the family gang. Until next time, we out.